cheers to a new year. I'm a little like late saying that, but you know, when I'm filming this, it's only two months into the year. So I thought we would sit down and I could just kind of wheel around in my chair, drink my espresso and just vomit words at you guys about life, the future of this channel, the future of Kristen, colored hair, not more colored hair, maybe not, I don't know. So, um, I wanted to like film this just relaxed on my couch, but my daughter is sleeping and the current room that she's in right now is right near the living room and I didn't want to be worried about waking her up. I was thinking outside might be really nice too by the pool or something, but it is freezing lately. I'm so sick of the weather right now in San Diego. So anyways, we have this very formal setup in my office because I have been filming a lot today, which feels really good. I did not get to the gym today though. Um, I was inspired to film this. I've been thinking about filming this video for a while because I feel like social media as we've known it has just become so different. I have been doing this for like over a decade. I was on YouTube in 2009 um, and things have just changed a lot. So I was inspired to actually like sit down and kind of like film this video after having my yearly meeting with my management company and I'd mentioned to them, I was like, I've watched a couple other influencers videos that are similar to this. One is Robbie D. Christie and I just like so much in her video. I just, just resonated with me super well. And I was just like, yes, 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 yes. And I was like, okay, I need to like sit down and just talk to you guys and talk to myself, talk to my future self and kind of just like figure this out together. Um, so I feel like I figured it out for the most part. When I first started thinking about doing this video, I was like, gosh, this is just going to be the longest video of me not knowing what the fuck I'm going to be doing or whatever. And because um, as much as like Instagram likes and views and stuff don't matter to other people that don't do it for a living and maybe you don't really understand it either, but this is a way of life. This is how we pay our bills. So it gets pretty scary when you have drama, which I've had in the past, um, and you lose a lot of followers and you lose brand partnerships, um, you know, that, that you count on. And it's scary when you're not getting the kind of views that you get and just the the vibe in the whole beauty industry has just changed so much um so i kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that and like where i'm at in life and so you know it's that's what's been going on with instagram and youtube like views i haven't seen views and likes this low since i like started my channel and as much as we want to say we don't care about it this is you know how we it's our career so if you're not like excelling and doing well and moving to the next stepping stone in your career, whatever that may be. Maybe you, you know, haven't gotten a promotion forever or, you know, a pay raise or whatever. I feel like it's like kind of can be comparable to that because that is like understandable, like how that would be frustrating if like you're getting like horrible progress reports, which would equate to like views these days. And it's just the platforms changing and the whole landscape of the world changing. So I wanted to chat about that. So like when I started YouTube, it was very much so just about makeup and hair. You know, that's all I did. I like woke up and I was super excited about makeup. I was so excited to put makeup on. I was so excited to dye my hair and color my hair and I was creating a new color brand. And I was like, and I've always been very like driven and I got my first business loan when I was 18. I was very just chomping the bit to like get out there and just like make shit happen for myself and make my life awesome. And I did that and I'm still doing that. And so moving into like my mid twenties, you know, I was going to events all the time. I was living in LA at one point and I like literally cannot stand LA at all. <laughs> I would just love more than anything to never step foot back in that city. I was very into putting makeup on. I got really excited about meeting new brands and <sighs> collaborations. And then I did the, one of the biggest collaborations I feel like I'll ever do in my entire life, which was a dream for me with Urban Decay. I had my own full collection. Some of you might remember that. Um, and 
So like, ugh, dude, these are so stained. Look at these sweatpants. Um, and everyone was so excited about makeup and it was like new and like it was just like really rad to put out like new videos and everything. And my life is just not that anymore, you know? Um, I definitely still love putting on makeup and I enjoy that, but like there's some weeks that I don't even touch a makeup brush or put any makeup on at all because I'm chasing my baby around the house. You know, um, the last four years I've gone through so many life changes. If you've been here for a while, you probably remember me buying a house in Nashville and moving and I was like pretty absent on social media for a while and I have another channel too with my animals on it that I am going to talk about also and the future of that channel. But um, so let me just kind of like roll through the changes of the past four years for me that were very significant. I went through a divorce, which was pretty life changing. Um, I met the love of my life seven months later. I purchased a home and moved to Nashville during that time while I was in escrow with my house. I went through two cases of identity fraud, which was like pretty much a full time job, like going to and from the police department with different papers and my credit score dropped from like an 850 to like a five something, which I've worked so hard my whole life knowing that credit is so important and your credit can pretty much make or break your lifestyle, honestly, <laughs> as crazy as that is. So, and I had always, it had always been just like, it had always just been like drilled into me, like how important credit was. So that was very stressful. I don't think I've ever been through a more stressful time in my life. So that was super stressful moving across the country in a motor home that I had rented with like 20 something animals. Um, was very stressful trying to get like settled into my new house while I was dating this new person getting to know a new city um, scary to move to a city where you know this many people but I was doing it I was like fuck it we're gonna do this like I don't want to be in the same city as my ex-husband like let's get out of here I'm from San Diego so it felt bizarre but like at the time I was like okay well at some point I'm gonna be selling my shares in my company and I don't want to be in California to pay all these taxes so I thought I had gotten out, moved back to California after I bought this house in 2020. So I bought a house two years in a row, which was just so amazing that I was at a point in my life and my career where I was financially able to do that. Like just so amazing, like so awesome. I had some really terrible press come out, um, some really just terrible drama that was just not who I am and misrepresented me as a whole. That was very, very stressful. It was a really, really hard time for me. Um, and, and so I moved back here. This is not nearly necessarily in order, but I also, you know, went through a miscarriage. I got engaged. I got married. I had a baby. I sold my company that was like my heart and soul for the past six or seven years. Like I, and so trying to like find my new identity after I had like eaten, lived and breathed like almost every moment of my day, this company, you know, and then just not having it anymore and not having that income. Yes, I sold it, but I invested everything. And then stocks went in the shitter. And so I was just like, I, just so many changes. And then while I was pregnant, um, Leo um, passed away pretty traumatically. And so like during this time, I was just going through like, and then there was COVID in there. And so not that it, like, I'm not trying to give a sob story. I just went through a lot of changes in my life. And it was, um, oh, and we renovated this house. That kitchen renovation took a year and a half. I remember walking through the house and like, literally like n there was nails all over the ground while I was pregnant, like cooking like food in the micro, in the microwave, in the microwave and the oven in the garage. Um, so just like, there was just so many changes that I've gone through in the past like four years that have just brought me where I am today. And like, so I, I have felt kind of unsettled for a very long time. Like we don't really fit in this house and I'll maybe I'll talk about it on a different channel, but we're going to finish remodeling this house, which I'd love to document. And I'll talk a little bit more about too, but we're thinking about buying property and building our dream house because my needs for a place are just pretty different than the average person because I have so many animals and rescues and I need a big area for that. And I need a big area for, you know, all of this equipment to film. It takes up a lot of space. I have like 
turned my makeup collection from like this much crap into like this much crap. So it's pretty amazing. Um, and that kind of like brings me to my next thing. So makeup. Um, I like, I was just like, lately I've just kind of not like, I should say the past few years. Like I feel like as my, I've matured, like my physically, like my skin and stuff, I just don't really wear makeup the same way that I used to. And so it's kind of been like, me kind of fumbling in the dark, like trying to figure out like what products work for me now, you know, and relearning kind of like what I like the looks of on my skin and what I feel like looks like too heavy or too much. Um, so it's been interesting and I don't like, I don't, I don't think I am speaking just for myself when I say like, we just don't get as excited for like makeup launches anymore. Like I feel like they're just out so fast all the time. It's like fast makeup, fast fashion. It's just out like this and you've got to keep up with it. And, um, I feel like makeup tutorials aren't as like, people don't care about them quite as much. Like everyone knows how to do their makeup now. Like we're at one point in time when I like started this journey on YouTube, it was like people, I would just watch them all day long, like trying to figure out, okay, how did, how did they do a cut crease? How'd they do this? how do they do that? And I just don't really, care a lot about like methods of makeup like that anymore like sometimes I do like skincare and like glass skin and like you know different things like that but as far as like artistic technique to like graphic liners and things like that I'm just like not super like I don't get like a boner for it anymore like I used to not to say that I don't like to wear like my fair share of like colorful makeup and I'm sure you're gonna see some of that like today this is not the most natural makeup look but like I'm not saying like I'm never going to do any of that again or put stars all over my face or glitter, but like I did that like all the time back then. Like I would wake up with glitter chunks in my eyes because I would just have so much glitter on and like I'm just really not there as much as I used to. Not to say I don't like it, but like my, what I get excited about has like shifted a little bit and I would say that like I'm really into like remodeling now. Like I'm really interested in like creating like I'm I'm really interested in like remodeling I'm, I'm loving that like the before and after is just the process of like redoing a space decorating a space I'm really into that I love that I'm really into like home decor stuff I'm still super into hair and makeup of course but I would say I'm just more so into more natural type makeup or like whatever you want to call this. This is kind of like more what I'm into as opposed to like smearing glitter all over or like neons. Like, like I said, not like I'm not ever going to do that again because sometimes I get a hair up my ass and I'm like, like I did with my hair and I dyed it. And I'm like, you, you know, like I get this idea for something, but like before I like lived to create those like makeup looks and I just don't anymore. I just realized my mic is like so far away from me. Hopefully that helps the sound a little better. Let's see. Mm. Sorry guys, hang on. Cause I know you guys love hearing my beautiful voice. I feel like I'm filming a podcast right now. <laughs> um, so I'm really like, okay, my lash is coming off. Oh, well, we're just gonna pretend that's still down. Um, I've been really into like my garden. Like I've been kind of bummed cause it's been so cold outside. Like I want to get out there and April, we're going to plant some pumpkins and you know, I'm married again now and I have like a child. I'm really interested in like hanging out with her and making content with her. She loves the camera. I uh, wonder where she got it. Um, <laughs> I'm loving that. I'm loving just like all of those things, I guess, and still hair content. I want to do more hair tutorials. In fact, I actually filmed this little bun. So I, I finally, like after seven months of being a new mom, finally got a nanny who's almost full time in home here. And she is like a godsend. She is so incredible. And having her now, I'm just like, how in the world did I go seven months not having her? Um, and I know some moms do it and they are like incredible to me, you know, but I was like just itching to get back to work and do what I love and like create content, and, like find myself again. When you become a mother, like 
Those of you that are mom can totally relate. Like you just go through a change. You're just kind of like, I wouldn't say I'm not the same person anymore because, and I thought I would feel different. I thought I would be a completely different person hearing other people talk about it now that I'm looking back at it in hindsight, but I'm not a different person. I just have added on to my like, like cloud of what I love, you know, and I love being a mom and I love being around my daughter and I love that I get to see her all day, every day. Like the fact that I get to do that is so magical to me. Like I'll take a break from filming and I'll go out to the kitchen and I get to hang out with her and pick her up and hold her and like do whatever. And then I come back and work and it's wonderful. Like I'm, I've got the best of everything right now and I'm really happy with it. So, you know, where was I going with that? Sorry, this is like, like I said, it's gonna be a word vomit and I'm just gonna not even really cut or edit this. I'm just gonna like put it up as it is. But um, I'm super interested in like when we build our house, like if that's the route we go and like filming that and talking about it and just honestly, just more all around lifestyle, life, beauty, being a mom. Um, okay, my camera um, overheated because the light that's right behind it is really freaking hot. So let's see if I can find my spot here again. Having help with my child after seven months of doing that um, solo, my husband's at work for days on end sometimes being a firefighter. So moms that are stay at home moms are absolutely incredible. Um, and I respect that so much. And anyone that just hasn't had help, like I am so sorry. Like you need, everyone needs help. Like I feel like kids were supposed to be raised by an entire village. And so I was so happy when I found our nanny and I was able to jump back in. I felt like reinvigorated to like do things to like sit down and film and like get stuff done. And I just felt so good. Like our remodel had just completed and this was recently, like this was in the last two months. And I kind of like sat down and I was like, you know what? Like I lost a lot of people when I had drama online. Um, and that sucked and that was just very hurtful overall. But like now I'm in this new phase of my life where I'm just super interested in traveling lifestyle um, decor, fashion, my child, my family, um, remodeling, um, real estate in general. Um, so I feel like I've just kind of like stepped into this new version of myself, 2023. And I have like a pretty clear idea of like what I want to do now. And I kind of just summed it up with those categories right there. So I feel like at this point, I feel like every channel on YouTube or like Instagram or whatever goes through this like transition period where you kind of like are a worm at first or a caterpillar and then you are a cocoon where you don't really know what the hell you're going to do or how it's going to turn out and then you become a butterfly and I wouldn't say I'm quite a butterfly yet but um I am excited to continue this path and see where it takes me and us and I hope you're down for the ride. And you know, I have been really enjoying creating some more hair content. I'm so stoked I dyed my hair, like it feels really good. Um, now that I'm pregnant again, I, <laughs> I was like on my fitness journey and I'm gonna make a video about that. I don't know if it'll be out before this or after this, but I was literally, I didn't know I was pregnant yet. I had just joined the gym in December, like mid-December. And I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna get back to my pre-pregnancy weight and feel good and like just get in shape again and eat better. And this year has been about like portion control for me. And that's always something I've struggled with. And just like eating things that are good for my body and being conscious about what I put in there. So like health has been part of that. And so like, then I found out that I was pregnant like right after I joined the gym and I was just like, really bummed about it in, in just in one, that way. Cause I was just like, Oh shit. Like I was just gonna, I was just gonna, I just bought new jeans. Like I was gonna, I was just really leaning into this like fitness thing. And I had to talk with Nick and I really appreciated his like perspective and he just made me excited to do it while I'm pregnant, which was great. Um, he kind of told me, he's like, you know what? Like you can still get in shape like while you're pregnant, he's like, you can gain muscle, you can lose fat where you don't want it. And it's not like recommended to like lose weight while you're pregnant. So don't, don't let that be your takeaway. But my point is like, I can still build muscle and lift weights and do all of these things that I, my body knows, like I've been doing, I've, used to have a fitness page for God's sakes. Um, so it feels just really good to like get back to the gym and like I'm seeing more tone and I haven't gained a ton of weight during this pregnancy yet. I've just been like getting a little bit fitter and more conscious about what I'm eating. So I like to kind of bring a bit of that back onto my channel 
and obviously child stuff too, but I don't want it to just be like all kid stuff. I don't want to like turn, sorry, I'm like out of breath with this pregnancy. That's like one of my first signs that I was pregnant. I was like, I can't breathe. Whew. Let me take a drink. So basically what I was getting to is as I turn into this new butterfly version of myself, I think that it's just going to be a matter of like the people that left, you know, didn't, weren't here for the baby stuff or whatever. It's fine. I'm not offended. Um, it's just going to be a time of like finding a new audience and like finding my people again. And the people that are still here, like we've grown together and it's been like really great. And like some of you are pregnant alongside me. Some of you had babies kind of when I had Harlow or maybe a little earlier. And it's been just really fun to like connect with you guys on that level because you've been through it all with me, or maybe you're kind of new and you found me through some of my baby stuff. Like there's going to be more of that too. But, um, I'm really enjoying like vlogging too and like doing reviews of products and like this new like de-influencing thing is funny to me because it's like hilarious that it's a trend now to like speak your mind about what you don't like about things. Like I feel like I've always done that on this channel and I've always told you guys what I don't like and it cost me money in the past because I would get something and it just didn't work and I was not gonna sell it to you guys and let you waste your hard earned money on it when I knew that it sucked. So it's just funny that that's like a fad now on on Instagram to and YouTube to like de-influence and tell you guys what doesn't work anymore. It's like, why weren't we, why weren't y'all doing that from the beginning? <laughs> um, whatever, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's, that's happening and people are being truthful and honest about stuff because it's about damn time. Um, so basically what I'm saying is this channel is just going to be kind of like a hodgepodge of all of those categories, travel, renovation, garden, vlogs, reviews. And I don't know, part of me thinks I should split it up into two channels, but I kind of just feel like at this point, if, I mean, maybe we will down the road. I don't know. You can tell me your opinion below, like what kind of content and categories are you liking on YouTube? And like, are you enjoying like watching and stuff? But I, for me, I kind of just would rather just put it all on one channel. And like, this is me. This is who I am. Like, if you're going to come to my page, you're getting the whole package and not just like just hair and makeup. But of course, if you don't want to watch some of the videos that I do about other things, like then don't. Um, I just put a deposit down for a piglet today. So, um, didn't know I was going to talk about that, but it just popped into my head. So there will definitely be, Oh, that reminds me. Let's talk about my animal channel. Perfect segue. <laughs> I put a deposit down on a piglet. Let's talk about animals. So you may or may not know, um, maybe you're subscribed, maybe that's how you found me, but I have a YouTube that is dedicated to my animals and my animal rescuing. I often rescue animals and currently it's kind of been, uh, put to the wayside for a second or like paused, I guess you should, could say, because I am out of space in my animal room. I cannot really add any more animals in there. So I haven't really been able to do any rescues or anything, but I'd love to continue doing that again. Um, especially when we build that house, I'm going to have a big old animal space. So that animal channel is I build enclosures. I, um, take care of my dubia roach colony. I take care of my mealworm colony, my superworm colony, my crickets, all of my animals. I rescue animals. I build new cages and enclosures. And I absolutely love doing that. And I feel like it's a very like niche audience. And so it's been actually performing better than this channel. So I would just love to put more time and effort into that. Now that I have help with my daughter, I'm really looking forward to doing some cage builds and some different things. So I'm kind of still like catching up with getting caught up now that I have help. I'm like finally starting to kind of get organized and like being able to like just run with it and work, which has been great. So with that being said, um, I did, and I'll link that for you guys below. If you have never heard of my animal channel and maybe you're interested, maybe you're not, that's fine too, but I'll leave it below. If you guys want to check that out, I have an Instagram as well. Um, and I will drop it down there for you, but I just put a deposit down on a piglet. And so I will be 
talking more about that, but I'm sure you'll see that piglet on this channel as well, because that piglet is like literally going to sleep in bed with us and hang out with the dogs and just swim in the pool and just be an amazing little piglet. And I am very excited. I have wanted a piglet for quite a while, but I'll get more into that on my other channel. I'm going to get into why I'm not rescuing a pig as opposed to, um, or adopting a pig as opposed to buying a new one. And I'll, I'll talk about all of that kind of stuff. But, um, kind of like breathing some life into my animal channel is something that I really want to do and I'm very excited to do. So I'm just feeling like really good and just really excited about 2023. I feel like I thought 2022 was going to be that year that was like just really great for me and like, and not that it was horrible. It was a great year. Um, but I just was a little lost then. I just feel like I was like a ship at sea just getting tossed this way and that way. And like, I don't know what I should post. Is it going to get likes? Is it not going to get likes? And so I've kind of like went through this phase where I'm like, I'm just going to post whatever the hell I want. I don't care if it gets likes. And that was like beautiful for a moment. And now I'm kind of like a little bit in between where I'm like, this still needs to be true to like my brand and like the random posts that can go on my Finsta. Um, those can stay there, but like something curated still, that still feels like me that I've put work into, you know? So that's kind of like where I'm at and I'm trying to wrap my brain and think if there's anything else that I wanted to say. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I, 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 I don't know. Hopefully you're on the journey with me. And if you're still listening thus far, then leave a piglet emoji in the comments below. So I know who you are. Um, but thanks for Thanks for listening guys. Like I appreciate you just being like a sounding board and for your support and your love and just uplifting me. And, um, and I hope I can do that for you as well. And I hope that I have done that. That is, that's my goal. That's actually one of the reasons why I started this channel is to help other people, um, help other men and women who want to wear makeup and feel beautiful. And just like, that's just been kind of my goal. And I, and I hope that there's been a shred of positivity that's come from my channel to you, from me to you. Um, so thanks for being my family, guys, and my online friends. I feel like we're friends in real life. And um, so awkward. I don't know how to end this video. I just am f I'm just full of gratitude right now and, like, excitement for what's next. So I will leave you with that. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video.